today we walked up over 400 stairs to the top of this church to look out over the city. We walked the cobblestone roads through the main old town square. And we tried world famous pastries and we ate them too fast before we filmed the intro. <laughs> Today is our first full day in Gdańsk. We think that's how you pronounce it, not Gdańsk. <laughs> and we've honestly got so many things to do while we're in this like tri-city area over the, over the next couple of days. Yeah, so we think that today's vlog might actually be cut in two. The, f the first part is us exploring the old town because that's kind of where we're staying. And then the second part is more around some local recommendations that we've got. Yeah, it's a new little thing that we want to start. Because we travel slow, we get the opportunity to take on these local suggestions um, and also locals know what's up, so yeah, exactly we might right. as well take their amazing take the advice. tips, yeah. which we're really grateful for, for sure. and check them out. Yeah, but so this one is, is definitely more of the, uh, the old town and a really cool cathedral. We're going to go up to the top of it so that we can get a look out across the city. And a couple of other really cool spots as well, but it's the stuff that if you search what to do in Gdańsk, you're going to find it. The more well-known stuff. It's the well-known yeah, stuff. So if you've seen any of our recent vlogs, you'll know how much Danger has been enjoying story time or KBs, which are knowledge bombs about like the um, the monuments or the buildings or basically like the tourist attractions the that we visit. The history all behind it, yeah. The history, so we've got loads of those planned for today. <laughs> So there's, this is probably more graffiti than street art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's still cool though. So there's a, an area that we're going to be going to later on, part of the recommendation. So sorry, this will be the next video, but just because we're excited about it. We love street art and uh, wall murals. There's an area around uh, a little bit north here we think that's really well known. So. Basilica and we stumbled across this really cute street. I mm. think it's called Mariachka Street or yeah, Ma something Mariachka, along. Mariachka, but something, Mariachka. Yeah. Um, it runs parallel with like the main walking street mm. in the old town and there's there is so much what we now know as amber. Yeah, jewel along the jewelry. Like and jewelry and um, like little trinkets and stuff. Yeah, it's rings and bracelets and all sorts of stuff. So first story time. First story time is, is amber related, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I obviously don't know this off by heart because I've only just learned it, but amber is a surviving resin of ancient trees which over millions of years have basically been compressed by rock movement and glaciers where there's some sort of chemical process that under that takes place that we don't really know what. And then once it's uh, like cleaned up and... So is it a crystal? The Probably orangey, not a crystal. The That's you get the orangey looking, amber, looking stuff. amber stone. And apparently um, this is like the Baltic capital of... Exactly right. Amber. Yeah, story time complete. So there's all the, so you walk this little street if you want to look for some jewelry and there's some stunning buildings, old mixed with the new, there's galleries, there's uh, shop case, like glass cases out on the walkways and everything. But it's just people just like wandering. It's actually very quiet. I feel like we're whispering a little bit. It's just a very it's really quiet, quiet nice, peaceful, a little bit off the beaten path, but still sort of touristy sort of place that you can wander down. And then the church is right here, which is the one we're going to go up the top and hopefully get a view. There's a lot of construction. What's going on? There's a lot of stairs. Yeah. It's very dark. Can you see? 
Yeah, you're good. So I'm not really sure if we're supposed to be quiet in here as well. We're supposed to be silent while we were in the in the church. We're going up the tower now. 400 and something yes. stairs. And yeah, a couple of people asked us about the salt mines we went to recently and if we felt claustrophobic. And it was so big down there that we honestly didn't. But I can tell you right now, oh, I think we're at 50. I think that's what that means. I can tell you right. I can tell you right now. This, if you feel claustrophobic, this is not the place to come. These stairs are very narrow, and it is so tight. We're just like wrapping around a tiny little spiral. A little bit out of breath. <laughs> I'm so unfit. We're at 150, and it's opened up a bit. There's a ramp down here. Go through. The roof. Oh, whoa. This is part of the construction. Well, this is random. This is not what I expected. No. So, this literally is that's not even the roof. That's like a it's just a protective uh, what do you call it? I can't Mind think of the name, I'm too tired. <laughs> whoa. This is a real adventure. <laughs> this is an absolute adventure. Wow. It's like a video game or something to find the right path. Wow. Oh wow, look at this. platform once you're up here but the views absolutely stunning it's a 360 degree it's obviously quite windy as well 360 degrees of all of the city all over this side which I doubt we'll even explore because this is the opposite direction from where our uh, where we're staying where the old town is Down. <laughs> 110. So we've come down now out onto the main walking street right the way along here. This is where we were last night briefly. I don't want to show it then. It's obviously a bit busier now, but it's still such a charming old uh, like old town area. Even though there's a lot of people, it still doesn't feel too busy or chaotic, which we really like. But just everywhere along here, there's these incredible stonework and statues, and there's a guy here playing his a little accordion and then signing buildings as you can see it's uh, football crazy here at the moment because the FIFA World Cup is on we're only a couple of days behind or one or two days behind with the videos at the moment that's why it's so so current Poland are actually playing tonight in their first game we've got some new Polish friends oh, you're tipping your oh. cap. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> Polska! 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 <laughs> and we think somebody's put on Neptune's statue here the Polish, uh, that Polish flag on a, uh, on a scarf as well. So brilliant. So we've just walked out uh, off the main walking street but across one of the first bridges we get the feeling there's a lot of little small islands and then these channels of like river running through. Yesterday Stacy mentioned that um, this place almost comes across as a bit confused and it's like standing right here is a perfect place to understand why. There's cobblestone streets which we've seen, there's like concrete archways, there's old brick mixed with a new brick and then the further that you look down you've got legitimate old buildings but then on this side they've got brand new concrete buildings that are still being like developed but they're making them look like they're old 
and then there's, there's new boats, there's old boats. It's just a real combination and it feels confused but it feels like it adds a lot of character which is really, really cool to sort of, yeah, you, you, I think we're just constantly scanning. You, you can't really get a feel for where you are or what you're sort of feeling when you wander around and that's a really nice feel for it. And considering this is what it used to look like around here, it's definitely come a really long way. so many places that you can eat and drink in the old town and people watch but we were recommended a place uh, by someone on Instagram actually called Umam and they are famous for their pastries and cakes yeah and so you know we had to come here and get a cake and coffee exactly so there's rumors that they've won best in Poland yeah we don't know if that's true we don't know yet but we're gonna go with that we actually chose a creme brulee uh, it's like a little tart type thing it looks so good <laughs> Those eyebrows. Ooh. That is really good. The like typical creme brulee top that's usually really crunchy and crisp is actually it's not it's not too hard. Oh, ah, okay. It's kind of more like biscuity. The inside is so good. <laughs> I love it. I think that's where the old town adventures begin. We're gonna sit here. I was gonna say we're gonna sit here and eat this pastry and the, Drink also, these coffees, that's where the old town they're gone. Ends, not begins. That's where the old town ends, oh. and we, <laughs> where our next video is about to begin. So, we're gonna chill for about an hour or so, and then we're gonna head on to create the next one, which is the local tips. Uh, so, check back in a day or two for that one. But for now, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the comments. Bye.